Oh my goodness gracious. Freaking. <laughs> I have a story to tell. I have a story to tell you, lucky viewer. Probably bot watch. I don't think anyone's here yet. was scary. Okay, that's better than Um, I'm just hoping I'm paying everyone. I mean, absolutely. I would never pay anyone. Every... I would never. Mario Kart. Alrighty, phew, so scary. <laughs> I hope not. Okay, that was weird. So, what happened there <laughs> was. What is Aaron doing? I will change that one again. That is loud. Hello, Bulbous Head. Welcome to the Mario Kart stream. Okay, so I, um, usually, recently, when I've been trying to play Mario Kart Wii, I've been getting trouble with my, um, with Wiimify, which is like the online thing. You used to basically play Mario Kart when the servers are down, like the, the Nintendo ones, you know? But I've been having trouble connecting to it because something about my internet I don't really know. My internet's not usually bad. It's usually pretty fine. But anyways, um, so, I, I connected to it, but then, if you don't get into a race within, like, two minutes, it'll kick you off the internet, which also means every time that has happened to me, I can't connect to Weemify anymore for, like, a 24-hour period So then, uh, so, I, I, so my, com my computer stuff was mostly ready, like to stream, like OBS was up and, and whatnot. So I, um, what did I do? So I, uh, what did I do? I, I'm drawing a blank. Oh yeah, so I, um, so anyways, I connect to my Wii stuff, because I'm like, all right, I'll connect here. I'll get into a game, or I'll get, you know, loaded, and then I'll, I'll just hop on this. But I do that, and I realize, uh-oh, OBS just will not get my freaking image on my computer, but it's still working. It's still, like, showing up on there. So basically, if it's not, if it's not showing up on my TV screen, then there's a problem, because it doesn't directly connect. It's just weird. It's hard to explain how to capture cards work. But, basically, I was like, okay, shoot. I need to get into a game now while I fix the, this OBS thing. Because if I don't, I can't play Mario Kart tonight. <laughs> so I got into a game, into two games, because I, it was taking me a while. I had to mess around with the source, I had to make a new one, I had to restart my computer, but I fixed it. And here we are today, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, um, how are you guys doing? What, uh, people say... <laughs> yes, it was that. So true, guy. This Eric guy... Okay. Eric? <laughs> he's so funny. He's, um... He uses a me, and he's standard cart, and he's... He does look like he's driving very leisurely. He's taking his time. Is the, uh, is the background, is the music and stuff good now? I hope it is. Eric's gone. What? Dude. I love Eric. Eric's awesome. Okay, cool. But yeah, dude, today is going to be a huge Mario Kart Wii stream. You will not believe. Actually, I need to get some stuff ready on OBS. I think.
um, is it, yeah, okay. Your friend did what? Not in my stream, funny. That's awesome. Oh, okay, so this was actually, this was the, um, DK Summit was the first track we got. I got when I was doing the thing. When I was trying to set up my computer, it was, I was actually doing pretty well at the start, but then I, I didn't do well. Insane low trick. Low trick god. <laughs> low trick god, that's an awesome name. Reminds me of a certain someone. Dude. Well, that's awesome. I've actually never 100%ed that game. I probably should. Actually, I shouldn't. I'm thinking about the 100 coin stars now. I don't really 100% games a lot. There are only a couple games where I'm just like, wow, I want 100% this. Kirby and the Forgotten Land, I do want to 100%. But I never stream that game, so... So I can't 100% it for a little while. I'm doing the Waddle Dees on my own time, because those will take forever. If I do it in a stream, because I'm basically just playing all the levels again. Um, so, yeah. But for, like, the Forgo world... I guess that's a spoiler, so sorry if you haven't played the game, but um, I'm going to probably do that, like, not tomorrow, but the next day, maybe. My mom wants me to watch Stranger Things with her, and I kind of want to watch it with her, too. What's up, Otod? Okay, that was close. Of course, just as you show up, Otod, I, I mess up. I, I'm not. I don't even try the double. I could probably try the double. Otod, can you do the double? I remember you did the rock hop in one of my streams. That was pretty funny. I'm, uh. I'm not too fond of the shortcuts on this track. You would not, Otod. You wouldn't. Hmm. It's tricky. I don't like the ones where you have to, like, lean back and stuff, you know? Scary. That's probably why I'm, like, I can't even do the moon jump. Wait, is it literally just do shroom and jump and hop? You can just do a wheelie? I hop. I do a um you get to like the third the third bar or something after the checkerboard line. And then you um you shroom and hop, right? Isn't that what you do? That's what Arkantel told me to do.
Okay. I had to fix my mic. That's a mic moment. My mic does that from time to time. Okay. That is so weird. That never happens a lot. The cone where it hits you. What's up, gun? Gun, I think that's the first time in a long time you've entered a stream and your first word has not been here in all caps. <laughs> um, I actually got it from the, the item box screen. That's where I got it. Um, top down. Um, actually, um, it's a circle. You're going the wrong way, bro, so... Jesus, that get destroyed. Why don't you piranha prowl for some bitches? He's gonna get shocked. Oh, that guy is lucky. I do want to hear a fun story, Rotan. Hit me. Brain, this stream is gonna be crazy! You won't believe what is revealed tonight. It's gonna be crazy, bro. Oh, also, you won't believe. <laughs> apparently, apparently, I'm going to Virginia again this weekend. I have not seen Super Mario into the Marioverse. I've seen Spider-Verse. Very good movie. I have not seen Marioverse. I'm excited for Marioverse though. Yesterday I woke up and I was like, damn, my throat kinda hurts. Actually, wait, yesterday I woke up and I was like, damn my throat kinda how do you do an Aust anyways, I'm gonna do an Australian voice. At home coma test, negative. Mom was like, I don't care if you want proper ones. Okay. Eagerly awaiting part two. Why is it Daisy Circuit again? <laughs> Aw. Is that why you're here today then? For the stream? Usually, unfortunately, because of time zone stuff, it doesn't work out for you, I don't think. That's the rough, I didn't know that. Oh my god. Oh yeah, by the way, Otak, your idea. Um your channel point reward. Go to channel Well, what did I just do to myself? Go to um go to the channel points. There are three new ones you can try out. That is one of them. Please tell me where that's from. Um, Captain. Um, I'm actually I'm a nerd, not a. <laughs> I'm a nerd, not a pyro man. Feel free to spam those as much as you'd like. <laughs> Jesus and the Piranha Prowler on lap three. Always getting caught down bad in the tunnel. Can I snipe Antonio? Ha! Oh, that would've been so cool. It was close. Total comedy right there. Oh, also, I did not make the boo hoo 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 loud on purpose, but I've had, but it, it, the, the, the way you get these things, like I searched for them, and the only one of Clash Royale King crying is super loud. I don't know why. 
brain will you be hopping on? Rudo219 caught down bad in Cambodia. He would not do this. Sherbert lands? It's track. Well, that's why. <laughs> I also think you can't do a, um... Oh, Todd, you know more about this game too than I do. Um, you know the, um... Oh, shoot. Okay, you know how when you get dropped off by the lack of two? Lucky two? Um... If you press A, like the second you hit the ground, you um you get a little boost. Can you do that in Sherbert Land? Because you're like covered in ice, or is that just normal? Because I don't think I've ever gotten on in Sherbert Land. I could just be timing it wrong. Jesus, don't! Oh, ho, ho, ho. Nice penguin, where'd you get it? The penguin star? Um, lol. Maybe I'm just timing it wrong. Huh? Oh, nice banana, why did you do that? That guy's stupid. I was right behind him. Oh, I gotta catch this dude. Shit, I could um, Antonio. Antonio, come here! Come here! Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Ronaldinho Sosse. Ha 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 ha. Jesus would. Oh, Jesus would. Jesus has been. That was well timed. Alright. God damn it, dude, what? Aw, oh, man. Oh, there's another lap? <laughs> Shit! <laughs> thought it was done. Okay. How am I in second? Did someone fall in the water? I guess so. Oh my god! I'm getting Jesus with this. <laughs> okay. Bowser Jr. The Jr. is a little bit ahead. But nothing I can't beat. If he makes a little mistake, or just follows the lines perfectly, I think this is my breakaway. Alright, that was, that was a very efficient ending, but not perfect. Jesus dies. Victim of baby Luigi. New red voice acting, please and thank you. Alright. Hey guys, um... Um, uh, Newbert here. Um, uh, so, so, um, uh, so, I think, um, erm, um, uh, erm, so, I actually, I hate Fortnite. What? Fortnite sucks. So, erm, um, erm, um, I'm Newbert, erm, um, there you go, gun. COW?! I wonder why Cow is here. Joe's voice is very hard to do because I actually don't think I can go that high. Then again, I can do the guy from Paper Mario. Carl knows who I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm not going to do that voice right now because it causes me actual physical harm. <laughs> he knows what I'm talking about. 
the character from the last one. You know what, to make up for that, I feel like that wasn't the best voice acting I just did. I will, um... I'll voice all the characters I voiced. So, the first character was, um... Actually, one second. Okay. Shoot. Oh my gosh, what? It was so bad, Carl. Okay, if I were to do... So the first character I ever voiced was Boom Boom. Boom Boom was, um... He made pirate noises. <laughs> I didn't know what to do. I actually, I was, um... I was in spectator mode watching a movie do parkour. <laughs> when, um... When he got into my room, so I wasn't ready. The same thing happened as DDD in the most recent episode. I think you haven't seen that one yet. Then. But, um... I, yeah, I wasn't even there. <laughs> Oh, no, I was tabbed out. I was playing Mega Man Maker. That's what I was doing. But so anyway, um, I'll just do rapid fire. Boom, boom. <laughs> and then he says a thing. On he, he, he says a thing, but I'll, I'm going to say that later. <laughs> okay, dry. Whoa! Okay. Wow. Huh. Anyways. Um. <laughs> he says kill yourself. That's what he says. That's his, his funny line. Uh, then King Boo. King Boo doesn't really... No, King Boo talks. King Boo doesn't talk a lot when he first appears. He just kind of, like, does noises. Um. Ooh. But he, he talks a lot in the Bully Belt episode. Like, way more than he should. He does, like, some, like, Is that Mario? Yeah, you know, I'll push you then a painting when I'm done with you. You know, I was actually raised by Spock. I love Star Trek. Mm -hmm. Star Trek is awesome. Yeah. You know, Newbert, my plan is almost complete. Mm -hmm. All right, there's King Boo. Uh, who do I voice after that? Oh, it's Mushroom Cow. Mushroom Cow is just like an edgier version of my normal voice. Newbert, if, isn't, if it isn't you, we've e we finished this now. You know, I was actually raised by Spock himself. He gave me the love that you never could. My heart is darkness, Newbert. That's what he had. To, that's how that guy talks. Um. True! Spock is a loving father. Loving caretaker, I guess. Um, who else? I'll do, I'll do G-Man after I finish up my, my characters. How am I messing up all of these today? Um, hi Jesus. Is he trying to troll me? I think Jesus is trying to troll me. If he's, like, watching the stream, he's so confused with what I'm doing right now. Um, I think he is, maybe. I don't know. He's getting hit by me. He's not a very good troll. But anyways, uh, so who after him? I had to voice at least a couple characters in Newbert Galaxy other than Mushroom Cow, right? Oh yeah, Luigi. Oh, mamma mia. Oh. Newbert, is that you? Oh, I thought you were a ghost. Oh, mamma mia. Oh, let's go. Luigi time. Ho oh, ho. There's Luigi. Luigi voice is fun to do. Um, and then, would it really just go next to Picard after that? I guess it would, I think. I'm trying to think through Mario World if I voice anyone after that. No. Okay, so yeah, next would be Picard, which is just like kind of like a more triumphant version of my normal voice. Attention! All members of the ESS Star Trek are to report to the cafeteria immediately following this announcement. Stay Newbert. Newbert, have you ever heard of Fortnite? You know, Newbert, Fortnite is my favorite game I've ever played. I think it's super fun and you should try it sometime. How about that, Newbert? 
Dude, I hate Fortnite. Um, okay, who else? I'm just gonna do my voices. These are fun. I have like two more, I think, and I'm done. DDD. You know what? I'll put DDD for the end. Okay, G Man voice. The right person. How does he talk? Sherbert Land is in our control now, thanks to you. The wrong person in the right place can make all the difference. There's G Man. Yeah, I don't. Oh, Todd, you don't know anything about Newbert, do you? You're probably very confused. And Bulba said, too. You guys gotta check out Newbert195 on YouTube. He's my favorite YouTuber. He has this Minecraft uh, series, and I voice characters in it, among. Carl also does. Brain has voiced SpongeBob in his series. It's really cool. Oh, I voiced Bubble Bass. I forgot Bubble Bass. I'll take a triple bossy deluxe on a raft, 4x4 animal style, with a shimmy and a squeeze, light axle reese, burn it, and let it swim. Okay. Oh yeah, it's also, the most recent arc is also Kirby World. It's Kirby and its politics. Dr. Fauci makes a vaccine that turns everyone into a liberal. And, um... It's hard to explain without sounding like I should be in a home. So I recommend just watching yourself. Uh, so DDD, how does he talk? Um, I need a master to climb that there Kirby. Oh, wooden, wooden Sam Hill's going on over here. Oh, why, if that ain't Lord Byte, I love that man. DDD's voice is fun. We serve food here, sir. That's actually what Roller says. I don't think you know who Roller is, Otad. He's a funny guy. Thanks, Jesus. Very cool. I was fixing a mic moment. The group chat is so funny, Carl, because there are seven people in the group chat who were just like talking about stuff, usually Newbert actually. And then the other, um, and then there are two people who are talking about, um, actually no, no, okay, sorry. There are six people in the group chat who are talking about Newbert or something. There are two people who are talking about Skyblock. And then there's Wisp and Meme Lord. <laughs> Gun, I don't know how to feel about that message. That's like a Joe message if... I don't know how to feel about that gun. I'm not sure what to like, in what to make out of that. Hmm. That's an interesting one. Ba -ba -ba -ba. That's true. That's true. You have to throw in a few. Um, and also stuff is spelled correctly. I'm not sure how I feel about that. But Carl, Carl, your message isn't spelled correctly. You said du Dunstan. Dunst. Lol. 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 <laughs> Dude, Hog Rider's so awesome. I did not put much effort into making the Hog Rider skin, by the way. I just, like, got a couple colors of gray. I got, like, a light gray, a dark gray, and a, like, in the middle, kind of, like a... Basically four shades of gray. Fifty four shades of gray. Um, and this race is insane, by the way. I'm going freaking crazy. Now. Oh shit! Okay, I always mess up that. Do not. But uh, anyways, what was I gonna say? 
And I threw the whole entire race. That's cool. I was talking about something. Um, was it Joe? I was probably talking about Joe. I forgot. Okay, if I hold on to this, I can do the shortcut. Oh shoot, no, I can't do double though. Right. I should have got a better angle on that. I was doing it like I would do a double if I had two shrooms. Uh, you, you can do it with two shrooms on 150cc, I think. Um, but, no. I'm gonna hold on to these two. Hopefully I don't get shocked. Or that happens, and it just doesn't matter. Oh, I see you there. That was very clever than gun. That's where the bald comes from. Wonderful. I should go bald. I'll go bald at 900,000 million subs. I need to snipe Matthew. If I can get Matthew, I can actually win this race. God! I think I hit Matthew too just after. Grr. It was still a good race though. If I didn't throw it at the start, I could do a little better maybe. That's insane. Carl, what color hair do you have? You seem like... You seem like you'd have, like... Brown hair, probably. Brownish. Cool. My hair... My hair is actually weird. So when I was when I was a baby, it was all black, which is like a thing that happens for most babies. But then when I was like one year old, my hair was super duper blonde. And and then it, it just like as hair does, it gets blonder in summer and stuff. But uh now it's uh now it just looks like it looks like my me basically. What is Bowser Jr. doing? My hair has been kind of getting progressively more brown as I touch less grass. But it was a uh, yeah. change in. Bye, cow. I wonder if Rudo219 will come out to play. Oh. He thinks he'll be very important tonight. Hmm, peculiar. Interesting. I wonder if there was foul play involving a certain Spongebobian fella. Ah, but there's no way, right? Right? That's what you think. Alright, the junior is gonna have to eat this. Bow! Yeah. That was weird. He'll eat this too. 
for a junior. Oh, he had a star. This was that Matthew fellow. How did... He had a fall from grace. What was Matthew in the bombs? <laughs> oh, shoot. Oh shoot. Oh! Damn it. Oh! <laughs> All right, it's fine. If I get like a bullet or something, I can probably beat Yoshi and maybe Matthew. Carl, you know it'd be really funny. I just never played Risk of Rain 2 and refunded it. That would be super fun. That'd be like really, really funny. And I'll just continue to only ever play Mario Kart for the rest of my life. It would be so awesome, really. This is what, this is what I'm gonna say. Oh my freaking god, dude. Yoshi, I fucking hate that guy. You know, I think it would be the most incredible Mario Kart race the world has ever seen. I think the Likitu would light up his three little markers with uh, special effects. Like, I mean, tons and tons of them, too. And, um, Koopa Cape would be special effects and it would blow your mind, I think. See what they did Koopa Cape? That was pretty, that was pretty smart. Two, a couple new people bad at games. Mike moment. So we have bad at games. We have Mr. Int and Jace, Jace, That was weird. Okay. All right. Did that guy just vote for Dry Dry? Did Jason? I think Jason took PV. Weird. Okay, DDR is like a track that I, I actually really like racing on, but I'm just not good at it. Which does not happen a lot, because I like to win. But... Me thinks. I'm smart with this. See, there's like a wall glitch thing. Funny told me how to do it. You wheelie on the... Clipper, but it's just hard to do. I really hope I get a shroom or something so I can do the ultra. That'll be very useful right now. All right, I'm not getting a shroom. Wait, what? That's pretty funny. I wonder. I guess they have to eventually just like check if people have alts. Or something. Wait, did I lose a bunch of followers? I should have lost a couple. I think I used to be at like 110 for a little bit. Alright, as long as I can just like do the ultra, I'll be happy. This race is kind of a bust.
Can I? Okay. Okay. <laughs> no, but a lot of them followed back. Remember? He, he had a couple follow back. Like, remember Super Mario Awesome, I think was the name? That was my hundredth follower. My first hundredth follower. It was Super Mario Epic or something. Epic Super Mario. Swag Super Mario. Super Mario Cool. Was it that? It was a really funny name. Well, now we can do the Ultra. <laughs> Even though it does not do anything for me. And I'd mess it up, too. Well, that race was really bad. Oof. Ouch. Bot. I just realized Jesus is gone. I miss Jesus. Okay, um, me thinks... Me thinky... Misa... Misa Jar Jar Binks. Misa Jar Jar Binks. I'm gonna burn out. Oh! Okay, BC3. This is a funny track. Because I just can't do the shortcut that makes this track, like, interesting. But I'm still pretty good at it. I like to think, at least. I retract that statement. Actually, do I? Do I now? Oh, let's freaking go. This is so clutch. I missed that. No longer is it clutch. It was still a really nice change. I went from 10th to like 3rd. And I did not get blue shelled. And that happened. But I'm not shocked anymore, I guess. Matthew! Ah. Alright. I'm pretty sure in Mario Kart 8, the way that works when star people in stars hit each other is different. Actually, I was wheeling. He bumped me off. That's probably why. I could try the Ultra on a whim, but I'm not going to because I have a soul. Oh! He is out for blood! There's no way Matthew is actually. Holy freaking crap. He was sitting there waiting so he could use it on me. Okay. I can probably beat a few people if I'm smart with how I stay in the pack. 
And I get good items. If I get like a golden or triple, okay, I'm not getting any items. I'm not gonna win. Or, well, I'm obviously not gonna win. Is Diddy Kong really gonna? Okay. I lost in the water, doesn't count. Um, good game. Well played, my friend. Oh yeah, happy Goblin Month, everybody. How are you guys celebrating Goblin Month this year? Me, personally, I'm, um, I am, um, I actually took the curse of the Goblin King, and in doing this, it, it, it was, um, uh, it was miraculous how it worked, really. I, I have to say that much. Will I get a boost? Yeah, cool. funny with here. He is he's quite a gorger. Alright, sure. I hit Diddy Kong, I think. No, I didn't. Maybe I hit Diddy Kong and like knocked him really far forward. I'm not sure. He was spinning. Maybe he got hit by a shell or something. I still don't understand how you can do the gap jump shroomless somehow. That seems crazy to me. I want to see an awesome uh, glitch you can do in this game. If you jump over that, you don't get slowed down on grass. Like, I was not going slowly there. And that's not because of the shrooms boost or anything like that. It's like a, it's like a thing. It's pretty cool. I think it's because of the way they do... Like, these specific ramps that lead to mushrooms, they change your gravity or something. I don't really know how it works, but it's pretty cool. Thanks for doing that, Daisy. Baby Mario, sorry, not even Daisy, Baby Mario, of all people. Thanks, Jason PTP. Okay. I'm losing steam here. And I'm gonna lose the race, I think. I there's no way to do dry bones. I might as well try shroomless, even though it is impossible in 100 cc All right, that's close. Like, how do people do that? Even on a 150? What? I think they need to, you need to like go really far, and then you go hard left. Some sort of thing with a mini turbo. I don't even understand.
I'm gonna quickly get some water. I'll be right back, guys. Me thinks I'm gonna run an ad. <laughs> No water, no water. No, okay. Um, my mic isn't on. I'm I'm leaning forward to talk to it right now. It's on the ground. Okay. Let's go move another stance. Good, I hope. Is that a dodge? No. No, it's not. But yeah, um, hope you guys enjoy the audio quality because this race is going to be super cool. Triple trims? Golden? Star. Really close. Jason almost got me. Jason's the baby Mario? What? Okay, that guy came up in Bush. Got some beats. Oh, shit. Okay, I can beat this guy. He gets a red belly. If I can, like, use a mole or something to block it. Oh, let's look and go. Oh, let's go. Let's play. That was insane. That was rad, even. Super cool, one could say. Eleven players. Okay, the, the party is stacking up now. First join when I first joined, <laughs> when I was trying to get the um uh, my OBS to work, uh, there were like two other people or three other people, I think. But yeah, how cool. I wonder what happened to Fastball. Fastball was awesome. I hope he returns someday. Someday. That'd be cool. So yeah, bad news, there's no water in my basement fridge, and I don't feel like walking upstairs. So, no water. Shame, shame. I'm just now absolutely not going to do the Squirple Spock voice, because that would, without any water, I think, I'm not going to even talk about it without doing it. I have to do some kind of tricky voices though, later. That was insane, that was an awesome golden. That's one thing I like about a lot about that item, 
You can do really cool stuff. Okay, this is a good time for the breakaway. What I can do. Any normal person is going to follow me here. I don't think I hit him, though. Damn, I could have trapped that. Shoot. Doesn't look like anyone else is doing it, though. Oh! I was not looking. I almost fell off there. Oh, that was, that was awesome. Is that Funky or Diddy Kong? I can't tell. Okay, it's Diddy Kong. I heard like a little, like a very Diddy Kong like voice. Oh, that was an awkward really bump. That was a shock. Dodge. Shock. Okay. This is getting bad. This is a track where if you're in the front, you pretty much stay in the front the entire game. And if you're in the back or in the pack, you never do well. Which is why it was really, really good. I had that like crazy breakaway. This start! Oh my gosh. What? How's this close? Okay. Which is why it was really good that I got that crazy breakaway at the start. What you doing on Team Odd Loader? What you doing today? Fargo's Mayhaps, perchance. Oh yeah, all right. I should probably play that sometime. My other friend, um, in real life, has been getting back in Terraria world with him or something. Um, me, uh, Coconut Mall. Gnomes? Okay, actually, I know a little bit about gnomes, because I've actually played 1.4. So they spawn around the trees, um, naturally genning trees. Knowing how Fargo's is good at everything, they probably made another way to get them. But they spawn around the trees, when you get them into the sunlight, they turn into an item. And the luck they give you is super weird. I do not like the luck factor, like, as an actual thing. And Fargo's... Did Fargo's really not make, like, a another way to do that? That's, like, the whole thing Fargo's does. Well, it's not, but, like, they do that a lot. Oh, shit. Alright, I'm not even gonna bother going up that.
Wait, they... What? What's the vanilla? The, them turning into an item in daytime? Did they change that or something? Hello, Jason PCP. Okay. This is not so bad. Whew, it was, I actually almost really hit that. I have the hair. I need to. I need a haircut so bad. My hair is really, really, really long right now. So mop. My um. I have freaking hair on my nose right now. I'm trying to get it off my face. <laughs> this is was surely planted here by Rudo two one nine. This evil hair. I love hair nose. Hair nose is so cool. Now nose hair is different. Nose hair content. That's probably I don't know. If I start streaming on YouTube, I'll do nose hair content. Mark my words. Please! No! Oh, okay. I thought I was gonna get like seventh or something. That worked out not not as bad as I could have. My lines were really bad at the very end there, so I would have been surprised if I um if I did the thing. It's 9.40 already? Actually, I started my stream kind of later. Stream ending soon. Evil chuckles be like. Stream ending soon. And it is a game other than Mario Kart Wii. <laughs> I actually so I haven't been I haven't been to the uh retro game store I usually go to in like a long time. Mainly because they have this website. They have a website, which is really cool. And they're supposed to have their inventory, but they have never updated their inventory. I might go there in person and be like, um, and just say like, are you going to do your inventory on your website? Because I, when I went there the first time ever, I looked at their website and they, their inventory was not up. That's fine. They moved to a new location near me recently. So I was all right, all right, that's fine. Makes sense. The, um, the next time I went there, they handed me, handed me, actually no, a couple times after I went there, I asked for a ton of games they had them. I think I asked for like Return to Dreamland, Tropical Freeze, Mega Man X Collection on GameCube. You guys don't want to watch that, but uh, I want to play it. <laughs> and um, like a couple other games. I'm trying to think. I, I whatever. I asked for some games basically, and they had none of them. Oh, and Super Monkey Ball and Ape Escape too, and they didn't have any of them. But um. But they handed me, like, their business card. And they said they were going to put it up on their website. Their inventory. But they have just never, ever done that. Since I can check, actually, right now. But I do not think they have. I'm not going to pull it up or say the name of the retro game store. Because they have one location and it's very close to where I live. <laughs> so, so, yeah. It's not, like, super duper close. But it's, it's like, walking distance, right, basically. Yeah. Also, every oh, I asked for Pikmin too on GameCube. Yeah. 
They've usually got the new play control versions. Check out this crazy shortcut. Bam! Okay. They didn't really think that one through very well, in my opinion. That shortcut is so bad. It's so weird. It's really cool. But it's just... It's an intentional shortcut, you know. But I don't know why it's like that. It's just really weird. Shame, shame, I say. Okay, I'm gonna do a gap jump, because that's like my only hope at doing remotely well. Like, Okay, I'm not gonna do gap jump, because... I just got cucked in Mario Kart. I'm the only person who fell off of the freaking mushroom somehow, despite literally the entire lobby being on there. Not sure how that happens. Oh yeah, I also want to stream Chibi Robo. That game seems fun. I've never played before, but if I can get it for a possible price, I would be happy. Like an, any normal person price. What I'm gonna do, because I, I drove a car yesterday successfully. It was crazy, bro. Well, I'm, I'm, uh, when I get my license, I'm just gonna drive around, look for yard sales try to profit because you can get stuff cheap on yard sales that people will sell for way more other than other places especially video games with most other things old people know but people are like sending their kids to college they're cleaning stuff out oh we have like gamecube games i don't need those anymore yeah whatever games i will buy basically any game even if it's a game i already have if it's like under 10 bucks I mean, then again, I, 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 for some reason, I have the, the need to refund FNAF, which is literally a $5 game, but, um, yeah.
I was just talking about FNAF for a while. Damn it, was I muted that whole time? Did you guys hear me talk about the noodle the noodle board and the noodle tree? Aw oh, man. I need to play music. I don't know why I don't do that for my mic moment to not happen. Okay. So let's say that all again. So I was talking um my experience with FNAF. Why was I start talking about FNAF in the first place? Right, it was because I refunded it because um, I don't want it in my Steam library because it's scary. So originally, I um, I think I found out about FNAF from this YouTuber called Think Noodles. Have you heard of Think Noodles before? Basically, he did Minecraft videos. Um. He was, he was like Dante DM or like Stampy Longhead or something. And so basically he'd do these micro videos. And um, he like had this like noodle board or whatever. I, that's not important. That's what I'm so. Anyways, he did a FNAF episode where his like minions, like, like, like Despicable Me minions, he has minions in his videos sure why um it's it's like a kid's channel it's probably why but um but i used to watch him a lot and he his minions like took him to fnaf world or something <laughs> like fnaf like the fnaf pizzeria and i remember watching that video and getting super scared at the jump scares <laughs> minecraft freddy I remember, um, my parents had people over one time. It was like my, they're like their friends or something, and they're, um, they're kids. And I took them with me to watch the FNAF Big Noodles video. It was super scary. <laughs> there's, some, there's something else about it, I forgot. But yeah, and then, um, and then this kid, I, I wouldn't call him my friend really, but in, um, in elementary school, when FNAF Sister Location came out, which that makes me feel really young. I was in elementary school when that game came out, but um, he was talking about it and he was explaining for some reason, I don't think I asked, <laughs> I, don't, I think he just told me, about the baby from that game that like rips your organs out or something, your frontal lobe or something. I don't know, I, I was just talking about that for some reason. But yeah. But that is scary. Even though I am like, you know how I am with FNAF, I do not find security briefs scary at all. Like that game does not look scary in the slightest from what I've seen. Something about it, like the, the jump scares look all awkward. I think Gregory is stupid looking. He's a robot. I don't know. I don't like how anything looks in that game. FNAF, it became kind of fun. Um, like, the first stream was actually terrifying. I did not like that that much. And the second, I think. I think it's fun when you actually know what you're doing. Yeah. But the thing is, an animated GIF looks a little smoother, I guess. Because it's not janky. It doesn't look like poorly light, lighted or whatever. Also, the loud noise isn't as scary as like the ee, ee, whatever the freaking Freddy makes. <laughs> and the original one, I think, is the scariest. I think that the FNAF 2 one's like, rah, rah not as scary. I don't like the first one because it sounds like a child. But 
Mm, you think this will be the last race, probably. I've got my first... Okay, so they the way they do finals at my school is weird. It's like... So I had my first... The first part of, first part of my Spanish final today. But I'm already doing my final for both of my science classes. So biology and um, the other one. And I'm already like doing my government final. I don't really know how they do it. It's very weird. You can basically, like, you start your final, but it's due on the final day. And they assign you, there are four days. So it's the 9th, 10th, 13th, and 14th, which is Thursday, Friday, um, Monday, Tuesday. God damn it. So Tuesday is my last day of school, if I don't have to make any up. And, yeah. So, I'm not really going to study for most of them, because I don't feel like it... I might, like, loosely study, but I'm probably going to study for math, so no stream Sunday. But yeah, I might actually, I might maybe be in Virginia then. Maybe. Actually, I think I don't have to go because of the final. I don't know, I've talked to my mom about that, because I'm, I'm, I'm so sick of Virginia, bro. It's the worst place of all time. It's where Chris Chan's from. That Chris Chan documentary has been... I mean, actually, I haven't watched any new videos since I've been home. But when I was in Virginia, I, that was like the only thing I did. I watched six, and each one is 40 minutes long. So, yeah. It's something. That little Chris, he sure is something. She now, actually. I've been thinking of making a Chuckles medallion. That would be so awesome. I can sell that. The Chuckles medallion. That would be so cool. I hope I'm not doing the thing that Chris Chan had to do. Basically, Chris Chan had a Sonichu medallion he made when he was like 15, I think. Or like, I think like 17. And it's just like, he made it out of model magic. And it's Sonichu. Uh, yeah, it's a Sonichu. And it's like a medallion he wears around his neck, like, at all the time. Always. He always has the Sonichu medallion. And, um... And he, one of his fans tricked him into sending it to him. Because people would just pose as a girl, and then talk with him, and then he would just, like, let his guard down. He does that all the time. Basically, someone... Not one of the fans, one of the trolls. Actually, I do... This guy, Chris Chan's an awful person. He's an awful, awful person. She now, I guess. But... His trolls are also awful. All of them except for Liquid... Liquid Liquid Chris are awful. Like, horrible people. But, um... One of them... Accidentally got it, and then they, like... They pooped on it, and peed on it, and then, like... Set on fire. Saw the two medallion. And then another person... I actually, I'm not going to talk about that on Twitch, but they made them do. It was actually, it was actually really messed up. I don't like that person, Blue Spike, who did that. Yes. Can we get N64 Bowser Castle, please? Queen Slime. Queen Slime it normally is kind of... When I first fought Queen Slime, I thought it was super hard because you, um... If you get too close, it's like a nightmare. 
because she does those attacks, the little blobs uh, in front of her. What did they change in Fargo's? Have you ever played 1.4? Makes you be close to her. Yikes. <laughs> Did you just like turn it on and like do Empress of Light or something and then stop? If so, that's honestly fair. That's basically all of the good stuff in it in 1.4. I do stand by saying that Empress of Light is a cool boss. Despite, you know, being female and whatnot. I think Empress of Light's pretty cool. And the whole day thing is interesting, I guess. Yeah, the blobs are tricky. Okay, I'll do one more race, I think. An hour of master mode, worst mistake of my life. Yeah, master mode kind of, kind of boring. They couldn't do anything. I hope they actually. I know, read logic. I'm not. Nothing is off the table anymore because of the last final update. Final, final update. Super final update. Blah 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 blah. It's not because it's Terraria and it's, it's big. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if there's like another actually large content update, like on the size of like 1.3. Hopefully, it's not something like 1.4. I think 1.4 was just. Like, it added, like, pets, and that was kind of most of what it added, like, pets and vanity stuff and, like, golf. And that was kind of it. <laughs> and Empress of Light and stuff, like, stuff for the Hollow, which I think was a good idea. Because the Hollow was surprisingly, didn't have any bosses. But, I mean, could you add other stuff, too? Like, pre hard mode summoner stuff? Because they had to add in the Flink Staff and stuff afterward. So... Oh, lawnmower, you're right! That's super important, that's my favorite weapon. But, dude, it, who actually likes 1.4? Brain actually does. Oops, sorry, Brain. But yeah, I don't, I don't know what, what was up with 1.4. I mean, it's still Terraria, it's still fun, but like, rarely am I like, wow, I'm so glad they added this new cool thing to 1.4, I'm gonna play this. And once you get T-Mod Loader, there's basically no reason to go back to 1.4. Well, now that T-Mod Loader's up to date, there's literally no reason to ever play 1.4, basically. But, um, like, even before then, I mean, like, yeah, sure, it adds Empress of Light and stuff, but mods can, like, do that, too, basically. Well, they actually, that is against the rules. They can't add 1.4 content. But they can add other cool stuff, like, like Empress of Light, or better than Empress of Light. Empress of Light's cool, but it's not unbeatable. Oh yeah, true! They made it so you can't get Reaver Shark. <laughs> right, right. And the bird staff freaking sucks balls. The bird, the finch, like... No, no, I'm not using that. The flinks is at least interesting, and they're the vampire frogs, which are kind of cool. But no one wants to do a blood moon with only your finch staff, or whatever.
And for some reason, there are three. I believe there are three. Yeah, there are three um, pre-boss, only even just pre-boss mage armors. Technically, there are only two because Ancient Cobalt and Jungle are literally this exact same thing. But, um, there are, like, technically three because you have, like, the Magic Hat and the Gypsy Robe from the Traveling Merchant. And then Jungle Armor and whatever. Uh, but, but let's only give you, like, a... Stupid flinks a robe. That's fair. That makes sense. The summoner is super fun, but it just needs stuff to make it like actually a class that you have a reason to use in vanilla. I know calamity sucks and balls and whatever, but there's one thing I do like about it. I like what they do with summoning. Where you, like you do more damage when you just just have your summon weapon. So it makes it all about dodging. And that's fun. That was an awesome trap right there. That should actually probably get somebody. It doesn't it? soon. Oh, that was weird. That was really freaking dumb. What just happened? Ooh, yeah. Ranger. Wee woo. I am not too fond of the Ranger class. Personally. I just think Ranger is not fun. Because it's just really easy. And the weapons are not interesting. Everything's easy. You don't have to get close to anything. Your stats are pretty much middle ground everywhere. You have pretty good defense, honestly. It's just, just boring, in my opinion. I don't know why Brain likes it. Like, you're a powerhouse, but it's not even fun. Like, having the Terra Prism is fun, because that's actually, like, a thing. But, <laughs> just using, like, a, I don't know, like, a, a mini shark in free hard mode, or, like, a star cannon, that's not fun. I guess using a star cannon is something, because you have to work to get it. That's, that's a cool idea. I might do a yo-yo only playthrough. I've heard those are fun. But then the problem comes with, like, the Lord. Because your yo-yo is just the Eye of Cthulhu, I think, from Mothron. Probably it's what you'd use. So, what do you do? I mean, you can still kill him. It just would not be interesting or fun at all. Am I ahead of Baby Daisy? Baby Daisy's really bad at Mario Kart. I gotta play Thor Room again sometime. It'll be fun to stream if it doesn't lag. That's the thing with Terraria. I don't know why Terraria just lags in multiplayer for me for some reason. It's always done that. Fun to stream. I remember I was Bard, and Bard's fun. What? Oh my god. It's not even like Betsy, just like a normal boss, too. If Betsy was just like, I don't know, Golem or something, even though Golem's easy. Where you had to, like, you know, you have to summon it a lot and stuff. So what? Just kill a bunch of uh, Lizards. That's not a big deal, really. But it's... <laughs> Betsy. Oh, yikes. That sucks. Because... Uh, what, do you, what do you think about, um... The Old Ones Army?
Why does Martian Saucer count? You kill like four of them in, per invasion. I agree, I think it can be pretty fun. It's pretty fun with friends, actually. Because if you have like two people, like one person manning the um, left portal, one on the right, it's also just easier. Which is more fun. Bam! Delayed shock dodge. Oh yeah, they're updating Thorium, right. I'm in the Thorium Discord server. But uh, they, they do stuff there. Um, okay. Thank you! For watching, everybody. Um... So, probably tomorrow, I can stream, I think. And then, um, what's it? I think, um, Rescue Frame 2 would be awesome. I could maybe stream that tomorrow, honestly. Oh, no, I'm, I'm said I'm going to watch Stranger Things with my mom tomorrow. Wait, what is that? What? What? Oh, I think I had I think I had tab open or something. Wait, what? Oh, I don't. I don't know what he. What in the? Oh! Oh no! Yo, Chuckles, what's up? It's your homeboy, Rudo219. <laughs> I finally caught you, I did. Wait, that black hole should not be there. I can't do that, because I'm just Rudo. Um, I finally caught you, didn't I? Let me turn off the... Okay. I finally caught you in my grasp. <laughs> that TF2 thing did not slow you down, <laughs> because no one in their right mind would ever vote for that. But really, Chuckles, I was just trying to scare you out of doing what I knew you were going to do. You know, Chuckles, there's a lot of talking we have to have now. Chuckles, I was once a simpler man. You know, Chuckles, I wasn't always this monster you view me as. I was once... Just a little Spongebob trying to get by. So I think now, now is a good time to think about just how the world has changed. Chuckles, ever since you first started, uh, started your streaming. That's not, that's not the song I thought it was. Okay. Long, long ago. You know, Chuckles, I've always been watching you. I've been taking care of the lands. You know, Chuckles, you may not have always noticed my presence, but I was always there. Chuckles, do you remember a certain emote called Gangsta Spongebob? No, I think you do. I think you do remember that, don't you? Chuckles, I've always been there. I've always been watching. 
I've always known what you've been doing. However, despite this, I fought to bring peace. I would fight to protect. And that's what I've been doing. I've been watching you. I've been trying to save the world, protect us from that villainous thing. Oh, the he who cannot be named, that baby Luigi. However, as with all things, the light cannot always prosper forever. Uh, now, I would do my works, and I understood that there was a time of peace, a time of funny 6300s and, and fastballs, but, but as with everything, the darkness always rises. And there was a point where actions had to be taken. Chuckles, I had to do awful things. I snuck into N64 Mario Raceway. I knew what Baby Luigi was planning. Chuckles, I knew this. I had to release the bowler, Chuckles. I had to do it. I released the bowler. I understand what this could do, but but in releasing the bowler, I created two universes. I had to sneak behind Cow, and I... I... Killed him! Cow is dead! He's dead! By my hand. But had this not be done, no one would have lived at all. In releasing that bowler and creating that universe, I've saved us all, Chuckles. It's up to you now. I've been lacking, even down bad at N64 Mario Raceway. I've been trying to restore this, but it cannot be done just by me. Chuckles, I, I hope that you understand the importance of what's happened here. Troy, oh bless his soul, granted you a shock dodge, allowing you to transfer from universe. You are not the Chuckles you always were. If you want to meet those who you loved in the original universe, like Fastball and the true Funny 6300 and Bald Gun. You must stop Baby Luigi now.